Welcome to the Atlantic British Do-It-Yourself video series. Today we'll be showing you how to install a trailer wiring kit on an LR4. For your first step, remove the left taillight assembly by removing the two screws. The taillight will pull off. Next, remove the trailer access panel. The LR4 wiring harness comes in two parts. One part with the connectors that plug into the trailer, and the second part with the connectors that plug into the vehicle. Take the part with the trailer connectors and feed the harness through the opening in the bumper, or the hole on the left. Maneuver the trailer connector through the opening. It may take some twisting and turning, but it'll fit. Next, secure the connector with the four screws provided. Remove the access panel in the left rear of the cargo area of the vehicle and find the two gray connectors toward the top of the open area and the round black grommet toward the bottom. The gray connectors are held in place by two dummy connectors. Pull both of the connectors from their mounting brackets and remove the dummy connectors. Remove the rubber grommet as well. Find a second rubber grommet behind the taillight assembly and remove it. Feed the wiring harness with the vehicle connectors through the two holes in the vehicle, making sure that the gray connectors that will plug into the car are facing toward the inside of the vehicle. Once the cable is all the way through both of the holes in the vehicle, push the grommets into place. Plug the two gray connectors of the trailer wiring harness into the gray plugs of the vehicle harness and snap into place on the brackets. Remove the nut from the grounding stud and secure the ring lug of the trailer wiring harness to this stud. Secure the harness to the vehicle with the fir tree cable tie on the harness. Remove the spare tire so you have room to run the cable underneath the car. Run the cable along the opening underneath the car, directly behind the bumper, and maneuver the end with the connector in a way that it comes out in the opening where you remove the taillight assembly. Once you can see the connectors in the area behind the taillight, connect them to the harness that you fed from inside the vehicle. Make sure that the connectors are completely seated. You should hear a snap when the connectors are fully engaged. Push the white plastic locking tabs forward to secure the connectors. Wrap these connectors with the foam provided so they will not rattle around in the area below the taillight assembly. Secure the trailer connector end of the harness under the vehicle with the fir tree cable tie. 